give me the key. Give me the key. So you can have the night. Now, you can try to stab me when I attack. Not until I attack. And again, on that time, all I really presented was a big moving target for him. You know, he sees me here. Nope, I'm way down here. You know, what does he see? Just what you see. Here I am. Boop. I'm gone. Did you really think I was going to do that in advance? To where you're going to be able to follow me down there and stab me? I mean, shit, you know, a lot of times you can just run away. I mean, it's, if you're a uh, more physical person than this other person. I did. I got this hooked right here. It's against his body. Bam! So again, that was kind of a unique thing. Uh, I liked it. He said to me, uh, don't even turn around. Just give me your keys. So I'm like, he sees my hands up, okay? He certainly can't be dangerous. I'm surrendering, right? And I just kind of peek around here. Okay, I'm not turning around. I'm just kind of peeking around. Where the fuck is that knife at? Once I saw the knife, yeah, then you just jump on it. Again, the spin. Again, we, we, here we are here. And I spin. And boop. I'm not there, right? So he thinks he sees me, and he doesn't. Again, here's what he sees. I kind of take this little look, and boop, that's what he sees now in his cone of influence where he thought it was, where he thought it was going. All of a sudden, I'm not there. Whoop, I went over here. He's got to readjust from that. That's OODA loop stuff. He's got to re-observe me. He's got to reorient. Then he can start thinking about making a decision Forget action, he's still got all that other stuff to go before he can actually think, oh, I'm going to stab this guy. Unless he's thought all this stuff out in advance. Okay, let me see. When I come up and ask the guy uh, for his keys, he moves. Junior, come over here and practice moving. So I can practice stabbing in case, you know, getting ready to go rob a car tonight. You know what the
Give me all the Mentos you got. Mentos. Put on Kuyet, Pede. Hold on, I don't even speak that. slash on it but there was absolutely no pressure I had no pressure because he was moving away as I went for it well the problem is you left a gap here you know what I'm saying you left a gap where I could bring the knife in and that's why I was able to touch you with the knife I didn't touch you hard I didn't get a stab and I didn't get any yeah I didn't get any any uh vital area so I want the keys to your car. Give me the keys to your car. Keys to the car now. No, what do you want the keys to the car for? See, I try to stay here. Yeah. I try to get as close as I can. I want to keep this on me. Even if you go away, I still want to keep this on you. Yeah. Now, if you pull it towards you, yeah, I'm just going to come back in. But I got to try, I gotta try to uh, trap that weapon somehow. Yo, what are you saying? Shit like that for? And again, anytime you can ask this guy a question, you're going to slow down his thought process a little more, too. Ask him a question. I mean, nothing more than acting confused and saying, what are you doing? He's going to tell you, I'm robbing you. Give me the fucking... Okay, well, you just got him talking. Now he's got to turn that off, restart the other program, which means the kill you program. And by that point, you're already in and you're gone, okay? I was watching something on TV a couple weeks ago, some Harvard professor uh, watching some NPR. I was trying to get smart or something. I don't know why I was watching NPR, but it's the middle of the night. I'm watching NPR, and uh, it was during one of those rallies where they're uh, trying to raise money. And there's some guy out there, I can't remember what his freaking name was, but he's some Harvard freaking uh, PhD brain guy, right? So he's talking about the brain. And he's, it was something, I can't remember what he was selling, but he has some kind of little thing he's selling. And it was to make you think faster or think better or some bullshit. But he said something to me that I really wasn't aware of. He said the brain can only focus on one task at a time. He said there is no such thing as multitasking. He said you have to turn off one and you have to go to the other. And while you're going here, you can't go there. You can't think about two things. It's just like a computer. You have one processor and it can process one piece of information at a time. That's it. That's it. Now you do have this thing back here, uh, the uh, cerebral cortex back here that does stuff. It's a separate processor. You have three brains really, okay? This is what he was explaining. You have the cerebral cortex, and this is your basic animals, okay? And what it allows them to do is basic animal shit stuff. Eat, shit, process food, pump blood. That thing's doing all that stuff, what we'll call uh, instinctual stuff, okay? Then you have another part of the brain, and it, like, allows you to do thinking and, you know, your day-to-day -day thinking stuff. And then there's another one, a little tiny part that's, like, the newest part of the brain, you know, in evolution. And that allows us, like, uh, what is that one? It's like self-actualization can occur in that one. But this other one is the one you're working in day to day. Okay, I'm going to wake up today. I'm going to go rob somebody. So while I'm thinking about robbing somebody, I can't think about, oh, first, I got to go get me some breakfast to get some, uh, you know, I need my cocoa puffs and some milk. Oh, shoot, I don't have much milk. I, oh, so while I'm thinking about that, guess what? I'm not thinking about the robbery. I can only one or the other, one or the other. 
So now I've got the knife and I'm thinking, I'm gonna stab this guy if he moves, I'm gonna stab this guy if he moves, I'm gonna stab this guy if he moves, get out of here, Wasp. And then uh, all of a sudden, this fucking Wasp wants to die. So anyways, uh, uh, all of a sudden this guy asked me, what am I doing? Well, I think I should let him know because I want him to follow my command. Yeah. So I'm gonna tell him, I'm robbing you, I need your car. Well, in that moment, guess what, he's fucked. Because he just turned off the I'm gonna stab you program and he turned on the, I'm Mr. Information today, and now you already have your little plan, which is doing all this, and you're just following your fucking plan. Whereas he is having to make adjustments, okay? So that's the big thing. Again, dictate the action. Dictate the action. What kind of knife is that? <laughs> It's my car. <laughs> okay, so again. So he tried to trick me there. He asked me a question. What kind of car is that? Well, I'm still in my thing, even though I answered the question. I'm trying to get this into my cerebral cortex as much as I can. And really all I'm doing is when I turn around, I'm looking for where's the knife? Where's the knife? Where's the knife? That's what you have to be thinking in your mind. As soon as this guy comes up behind you and says, give me your keys, you gotta be thinking, and here we're saying knife, but it should be where's the weapon? Where's the weapon? Where's the weapon? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we are here, right? So now I've got this here. So now I've just got to come here, and I'm going to bust this thing on here. So again, if you saw our uh, handgun disarm class, you know, again, I'm turning, I'm looking, what's the weapon? What's the weapon? Well, it's a handgun. Well, I can't freaking just push it to the side and run away unless I want to get shot in the back. Again, you get a good check off on this guy, you get that weapon turned away from you, and you start running, I tell you, he's got less than a 10% chance of hitting you unless uh, you're getting robbed by the only like Navy SEAL, Recon, Delta yeah. uh, loser who wasn't able to keep a job with all these skills he has, and now he got to go out and rob you in a parking lot. I mean, it's just not going to happen. You're, you're going to get this guy here holding the freaking gun sideways, trying to cap you one-handed, you know, while he barely is using the sights to hit you. It's a one in a million shot to freaking uh, to drop you. Although I have heard of it happen one time. There was a Memphis police lady who freaking uh, told some guy to stop, and the guy ran. And when he ran, he just freaking threw the gun up behind him, not even looking, pulled the trigger. Whoosh, ugh, dead. I mean, unbelievable luck. So again, it looks really simple the way we're doing it, but you got to remember, we've got uh, lesson one, two, three, four, five, six behind us, blocking that knife, blocking that knife, waxy on, waxy off, waxy on, waxy off, paint up, paint down, paint up, paint sideways, <laughs> you know, we've been doing this for, uh, you know, quite a few lessons now, I mean, if, what are we on, lesson seven? So that's uh, four hours for each lesson. That's 28 hours we've been waxy on, waxy off. And we've been doing it in a systematic fashion uh, to where we spoon fed you the skills, spoon fed you the skills, spoon fed you the skills. So that all of a sudden when we do this, it looks relatively simple. Yeah, I bring my son out here who hasn't been through this course and uh, I start you know, uh, having him do it and we're gonna be you know, stuffing this knife down his throat several times because he ain't really gonna know what to do. He's gonna like try to come at us. Maybe we'll struggle for the knife. He doesn't realize he should get off the side. You know, avoid the uh, avoid the cone of influence. You know that type of stuff. It's gonna be much harder. But again, we've done all this. We've got our hands moving to where our hands move the way we wanted to move. That type of stuff. Uh, so again, you know, start at the beginning. If you're uh, you know a decent instructor, uh, you know, or a uh, high level student, do it by yourself. If you're not, find somebody. Have him walk it through with you and uh, you know, get to where we're at. You know, it's, it's not impossible. It just takes a little time, a little effort. Is that the person?
Again, that's all I did. I got this hooked right here. It's against his body. Bam. And again, on that time, all I really presented was a big moving target for him. You know, he sees me here. Nope, I'm way down here. You know, what does he see? Just what you see. Here I am. Oh, I'm gone. Did you really think I was going to do that in advance? To where you're going to be able to follow me down there and stab me? I mean, shit, you know, a lot of times you can just run away. I mean, it's, if you're a uh, more physical person, it's, uh, don't even turn around. Just give me your keys. So I'm like, he sees my hands up, okay? He certainly can't be dangerous. I'm surrendering, right? And I just kind of peek around here. Okay, I'm not turning around. I'm just kind of peeking around. Where the fuck is that knife at? Once I saw the knife, yeah, then you just jump on it. Again, the spin. Again, we, we, here we are here. And I spin. And boop, I'm not there, right? So he thinks he sees me, and he doesn't. Again, here's what he sees. I kind of take this. Okay, that was kind of a unique thing. Uh, I liked it. He said to me, 